A property tax that funds Howard College is under scrutiny. The college could lose out on more than half a million dollars if voters reduce the new tax rate, which just went into effect. CBS 7's John Travis said spoke with the college's president about what this means for the school. John. Building maintenance on the Howard College campus and software updates are on the school's list of things to get done this year. The money for those projects came from a 15% property tax increase. But voters signed a petition forcing the college to hold an election which may reduce the tax increase that took effect on Halloween, meaning the school could lose out on money they have already planned to use. If the rollback election is successful and the rate is rolled back, the college would lose $630,000. If the rollback goes through, the school's budget will be about $85,000 less than it was last year. Residents like Andrew Carraway think the tax rate was hard enough to pay before the increase. I think they could have found another way to go about it. I think it was a little bit hard on a lot of the property owners, especially with the businesses. Some of the small business, you know, there's a lot of property taxes that's going to be added to them that they really can't afford. But with how the school receives their funding, Spark says this was the best way to fill the budget. It would be difficult to do so with tuition and fees. State funding, of course, um, comes into to place every two years and it would only be possible to do so through a special gift. If Sparks adds if the tax rate is reduced, the school will have to look at raising tuition next fall and possibly making cuts. Then we will also begin to look at how to go forward strategically relative to programs, services, cost, etc. The election will be held January 19th with early voting beginning on January 4th, all of it being done at the Howard County Courthouse. With your eye on Big Spring, John Traffinstead, CBS 7 News.